Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to clean the inside of your oven door. Maybe you've watched all my other oven cleaning videos with racks involved, all things. By the way, if you need to clean this, my favorite tool right here is a good old razor blade. I recently got the oil changed in my car and he busted out a razor blade on the windshield of my minivan. And I thought to myself, girl, get that for your oven door. So this is what I recommend. But then once you clean that, you're like, hey, there's still stuck in the in stuff stuck in the inside of the glass right here. Let me show you how to get that taken care of. A quick word of caution. Make sure that you check your owner's manual if you have it because sometimes taking your door off or the glass separating like I'm going to do right here today can void your warranty. This oven is so old so at this point it doesn't even matter but I do want to disclaim that. Now some will say take your entire door off. I don't love that option. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to separate the glass right here. You are going to need a tool. There's six little prongs right here. I just want to show you this uh, little ratchet set that I'm using to unscrew right here and right here. The other option, I don't love this because it doesn't get the glass as clean, but if you take out the bottom oven warming drawer, which we never use, we just use it for pot and pan storage. Thumbs up if you're the same way right here where you store your junk in there rather than actually using it for what it's intended. Um, there's a lip right in here where you can get inside the oven. So what you would do is, let me just show you here really quick. I already started unscrewing this one is you would take out your warming drawer. I gotta be careful. Take out your warming drawer right here. And then you wanna get something that's bendable. So maybe like a fly swatter with a rag on the end. And that way you can get up in here and clean and put whatever solution that you want. Again, I don't love this option because you're like down on the ground trying to get the fly swatter or whatever's bendable up in here to try to go like this with the glass. And then you spend all this time and it didn't really work that well. So I would do what I'm going to recommend that you do right here today. You can see here I went ahead and unscrewed both of these. Now you want to be very careful because there was a spring action when I let this one go right here. So make sure you are holding both parts of the door right here as you are unscrewing it. Now I'm able to just rest mine um, somewhat near the floor right here. I'm actually going to put something under it just to give it a little bit more stability as we clean the glass. But look at Look at in there. You see all those cobwebs? Yuck! We are going to make this look absolutely fantastic. I just have it sitting under a tool bag right here, nice and sturdy. Now I have some gloves. This is what we're going to be using, some steel wool, quad zero. Absolutely love this. Professional glass cleaners use this. And then first I'm going to go in with a little warm water, a wash rag, some Dawn dish soap, just to get this initial stuff out. And I just wanted to show you this uh, ratchet set right here, just in case you were interested. I just did an initial wipe down with my soapy water and it is looking pretty darn good. I may not necessarily need to go in with the steel wool, but I just want to demonstrate again, use a glove when you are using this. Don't follow my example right here. If you want to get any spots that you're seeing, go ahead and get them with the steel wool. I can see a bunch up here. So I'm going to go ahead and move in. And then you can also see, it'll help if I move you up right here, you can also see spots where you missed on the other side of the glass. And we'll go ahead and make sure that we get that taken care of as well. But it is looking so nice. Once you are done cleaning the glass to your liking, go ahead and dry it up with a rag like so. And then I will show you the other side. Got one side screwed in. A little tip here. You are going to want to squeeze this tight together so that it will lock in place as you are screwing it back down. So give it a little bit of pressure. Now I've seen some ovens where the glass will slide down. I didn't have to run into that option, but just be very careful when you are screwing things back together. And just for example on mine, I had to give it a little bit more pressure to lock it into place. Two quick bonus tips for you right here. If you have a squeaky door, just go ahead and spray some WD-40 in there. This one used to squeak like crazy. Now it sounds absolutely amazing. I don't wake my kids up in the middle of the night trying to cook things and open the oven. Also, so if you're looking for a way to clean your pots and pans and make them look like brand new, I will link that video as well in the description box below, as well as some videos about WD-40 hacks that are less obvious than this one right here, but super fun. Listen. Yes. That is looking so nice. I already went to town here on the inside and you can see the debris that I'm picking up 
here, ooh, right there with my razor blade. So just go along, get any spots, get as meticulous as you like here. And then you're gonna go ahead and wipe everything up. I like to use, again, some warm soapy water with some Dawn dish soap, and then a towel just to dry it up. Give this video a thumbs up. Sign up for the weekly newsletter, which is all things cleaning tips, tricks, and hacks. Share this out with a friend, coworker, anybody that you know that wants to get things done in a more effective and fun way when it comes to cleaning. Look at that, where is my towel? Let me show you. Yes, 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 that's looking so much better. We can see some spots right in here. Again, you can get as meticulous as you want. But look at that, look at that glass store right there. This literally took me probably less than eight minutes. Again, it's gonna depend upon how bad your oven door is. If you're looking for videos about how to clean your oven racks, how to clean the inside of your stove in less than five minutes like a pro, I will link those in the description box below. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.